Hi guys, Hui Raptor here with step 9 of how to assemble the Tifo Black Widow. Now we will install the extruder. So open the extruder package and take everything out. The extruder comes already mostly assembled and only the stepper motor needs to be installed. But before we start, there are some things we need to check first. One of them is the nozzle and heat brake installation. You need to make sure that the nozzle is tightened against the heat brake and not the heat block. Otherwise, you will end up with leaks and clogs due to the gap between the nozzle and the heat brake. In this example, the nozzle is clearly tightened against the heat block and most probably there is a gap between the nozzle and the heat brake. Next, you need to check the stepper motor and gear alignment. It's very important that everything is aligned, and here's how. Start with assembling the motor. The stepper motor gear must be parallel with the extruder. So, when securing the motor to the extruder, check this carefully. As you can see, this round edge of the motor gear keeps the filament clamp from closing correctly. So, one thing you can do is to file the extra bit off or add shims between the two parts. Get a sharpie and mark the area that needs to go. It's actually not that hard to remove that small edge and it will take you just a few minutes to do this. And I prefer to do this instead of the add shims approach. But be careful, don't damage the bearing. Now with the edge removed, you can now fully close the filament clamp. Next, you need to check the alignment of the drive gear. The middle of the drive gear must be aligned with the filament guide. To adjust this, simply release the grub screw and adjust the drive gear's position. Retighten the grub screw at the end. Next, you need to secure the motor and make sure that the drive gear is centered. You can move the motor and tighten the screws when it's centered. This is all described in great detail in the community guide, so I recommend you to read it. Last but not least, let's install everything in the X carriage. My advice is to use the flat tip Allen key and put the screw on it. This will help to put the screw in place.
don't forget to put the spacers. Make sure you secure the extruder parallel with the X carriage. And this completes the extruder installation. Thank you for watching and don't miss the next step.